five and you can. Too dangerous to pull anyone else into. Come on, just out with it already. Okay. Have a seat. I'll tell you the whole story. My name's Paul. I run a damn good scavenger team. Me and Daisy are in charge. Her son Fitz is our second. Recently, some assholes moved into our territory, trying to push us out. Avery and Francis. You heard of them? No. Well, they're bad fucking news. Daisy went to talk to him, to be neighborly. Our neighbors beat her and broke her hand. It could have been worse. Even after that, we were willing to talk. I mean, we're not fighters. So Fitz took the crew with him for another meeting yesterday. They never came back. And I don't know what to do. I, uh, I need to find them. I need to know what happened. I see. Okay, I can take a look. Where do I start? Uh, you're a godsend. The team must have left from our staging area. Back in the day, it was called the Incubate Building near Goldstone Loans. The signs are still up, so you shouldn't have trouble finding it. Just take a look. I'll make it worth your while. Promise. I'll check it out, and we'll see. If Elena ever hits on you, be careful. You're Aiden? They're waiting for you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly, like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dog started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can reestablish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, He'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. The whole district is powered by an electrical substation. I was gonna send a squad to turn it on, but I heard you already did that. Good job, kid. Too bad you handed it over to the civilians. We could've used it. Doesn't matter now, Ro. At least we don't have to worry about electricity anymore. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Rogue. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass. They're waiting on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving taunts. Shut us. up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Rose men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. Or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. and
team. Aiden? I hear Jack and Juan are trying to sell you a hot load of horse shit. Meet me outside the canteen. Sharp, Aiden. Come on, tell me more. She's still seeing that. <sighs> oh, yeah. Talk to me, son. Does a vid. Aider? Is that you? Hello, Pilgrim. This is my son. Oh, yeah, this is Aiden. I think we met when your dad was sick. Um, how's it going, Oya? Get lost. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Sorry about that. He's having a hard time. A lot's changed for us. And what happened? You see, Patricia and I have separated. And once I've recovered, the first thing I wanted to do was get that motherfu- <sighs> Sorry, kid, cover your ears. You mean that motherfucking waltz? You've cursed like that a hundred times in front of me. Yeah, him. Uh, Patricia had asked me not to. But I wanted revenge on waltz for killing my men, for killing Lucas. And him escaping punishment, you know? Well, did you get him? Nah. A few days after I was walking again, I started looking for him. And Patricia pleaded with me, but... When I returned home after a few days, I found it empty. Patricia had moved out and taken the boys with her. Most of their things were gone. All I found was a letter. Just a few words, really. <laughs> Apparently, while I was stationed in old Villador, Patricia had made contact with her ex-husband. I've no idea what she saw in a stuffy old teacher. He's only our teacher. Jeez, Dad. Oh, yeah. Look, I know you're only trying to protect your mother. Although, to be fair, they aren't living together. I don't know what's going on. Mum left because she was tired of it all. She'd had enough. Yeah, that's true. More than enough, I suppose. Uncertainty, fear for me. Wondering whether I'd come back alive. But now I've only got one goal. To get my family back. I know how you feel. Sometimes, in our rush toward our goals, we forget about the people around us. You've been running around, looking for someone this whole time, haven't you? Yes, my sister. Waltz may know something about her. I hope you don't lose yourself. Like I have. Patricia won't talk to me. Or yeah, well, you can see for yourself. Only my youngest gives me the time of day. I'm teaching him how to handle weapons. But being with them makes me stronger. I won't take any more of your time. I wish you the best, Dater. Wait. Remember Lazarus? It's a solid weapon. And it's unlikely to be of any use to me anymore. I was supposed to kill Waltz with it. You do it for me. You can bet I will. Bye, Oyer. Get lost. Just cause you got holes in your shoes. Doesn't mean you're poor. Does your mother ever talk about me? Good to see you. Back off. You're making me uncomfortable. Oh, damn it, I forgot. Fine. How you doing? Fine, I'll go get it. Right, looking for Josh. For the love of God. If they... They're people sleep. Okay. She cries all the time because of you. You all right, Ada? You were supposed to get lost. I would like to spend some time. I'm looking for a Josh, you know? I ain't a tourist info center. Scram! Hey, excuse me, I am. Uh... Hey, mind your manners. Me and the lady are talking. Hey, excuse me, I am. Uh... Hey, mind your man.
Hey, excuse me. I, uh... Hey, my... Back off, like you weirdo. Wish I could break free. Did you hear? The PK are planning to take control of the VNC Tower. What are they, nuts? If you don't leave me alone. You know, sometimes I'm... You know, sometimes something. if I stay out too long, I get the feeling that there's no one left in the city. And then this horrible fear overwhelms me. Big strap and lurk like you? This'll be a piece of cake. Don't push yourself too hard. I need you alive to bring back those samples. Took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Ro Meyer? They're solid. But Jack and Juan? They're destined to stab you in the back. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago... Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden, the entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Sorry, Luan, but Jack will dig up info on GRE employees if I do this for him. Ro, I'm on my way. You, my friend, are a suicidal moron. Luan. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. And I see the <clears throat> goddamn UV lights. <clears throat>
The butchers our greatest enemy. He's responsible for the Black Monday bombings and the death of two million people. Bit of electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now, the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Why well, ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up, then... Oh, fuck me. It's Roe. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it, get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. We're still looking for. Just leave it. Get out now. <laughs> Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro.
Bro, I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. That's what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blackout. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Relax, Leon. You can give it to her yourself. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Ro. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. I'm here. The power won't come back on. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
building. Cover your mouth and nose. Remember to wash your hands often. The virus can be spread through the air, via surfaces, or through direct contact. Only consume food after heating the temperature of one for a minimum of two minutes. I restored the power. Get the cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. This had better work. are working. All right. I did it. Ever gotten a medal, Pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the eighth floor. Where's Leon? I'm sorry, Ro. He... he didn't stand a chance. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I... 
I know you really tried to help them. What is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Are you coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. join you? Be our guest. How you feeling about the mission, Aiden? Now we made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> I'm not sure is a hard ass. Of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but... Not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Okay. Time to get some shut-eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Wow! You rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. I'm fine, thanks. I'm not gonna force you. More for us. Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? Well, that was a carnage. It was, and we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. What about them? They're everywhere. Spreading in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First someone turned on the electricity. No idea why. And then, when I questioned a renegade officer, he babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13? I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker... Maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. But for now, get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. Yo, Sleeping Beauty! Aiden! The head honcho is here, let's roll! And Matt brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy.
Aiden, you're doing great so far. Yeah, we're trying. Right, Ro? I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro, this again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan? Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you alright? Go already. Hey, you guys want to hear a joke? Oh, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. Oh, I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. Oh. Where's Bowski? Fuck. Sorry, boss. Won't say a peep. You're off key, dumbass. It went like this. Whoa! Commander, sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. All right, boys. The repairs will take some time. We can't wait. It's footwork from here. What floor are you on? 30. So you got another 50 to the roof. Right, boys. You heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking. Where's Bowski? Recon. Careful, Wispowski. Looks clear. Bowski! Oh, fuck. Oh no. There's Bowski.
Jack? Jack, are you there? There's... <clears throat> there's been an attack. Only I made it. Fuck. No, Endro? I, I don't know. I, I don't see him. Aiden. Ro had the transmitter. Locate it. It's our only chance. It's no time to mourn. You must find Ro. We'll get you help as soon as the elevators are back up. I'll do what I can. survived I thought you were dead they fucking wish you'll pull through Ro just hang in there oh, well I will the transmitter Matt said you have it I do you can't lose it Aiden you can't here the transmitter Aiden don't you uh... I think you should wait for that potato metal I promised you. What? You withdrawing my commendation, Lieutenant? Oh, shut up. It's just... Ah, our dog tags. Don't let my boys be forgotten. If you see a fallen man, please take his tag. <sighs> they deserve it, son. Luan? Luan, I... I'm in trouble. The PKs are all dead. I warned you. If you get yourself killed, I swear I'll come in there and find a way to bring your lifeless corpse back to life just so I can kill you myself. Spare me the lecture, okay? Just come down from there already. I'm not coming down. I need to get higher. I'm gonna find a way up. Fine. I'll wait. Locked. I'm stuck here, Luan. I need help. I'll get Frank. Hurry! Luan? 
What? Did you get Frank? Thirtieth floor. The infected. They, they blew up. Fuck it. I told you. Frank, wait. Where are you going? He's as good as dead, Luan. I'm sorry. This is where I lost all my night runners. I'm not going through that again. He's not dead yet. He's there, and he needs you. He needs a coffin. That's what he needs. Frank, you smelly old alcoholic cunt. Why don't you fucking get a grip on yourself and step up for once? Aiden, some of our equipment should still be there, in the elevator shaft, one or two floors above you. Frank, I think I found it. What's it for? It's a grappling hook. A rope launcher. It's a what? We'll help you climb. Aim it at something it can attach to, and shoot. Try to use it to get onto the terrace. Let me know once you've done it. Okay.
think I'm getting the hang of it, Frank. Sure you are. It's simple. But it can save your ass. Where to now? Where you were headed, Aiden. Upstairs. You have to go up one level. From there, you're gonna go to the side wing. Where to the side wing? The main wing is full of infected. Go. You have several floors to climb. container nearby. I'm on a terrace. Cool. You see my canteen? Yeah, you bet. Looks really tiny from here. Cool. Now open your paraglider, jump and fly to the fisheye. See you there. What? Time to end this madness, Aiden. You have a paraglider. Get out of there while you still can. Frank, I need to go up. You said you'd help me. Better trained men than you have died there, Aiden. I won't lead you to your death. Frank, I'm going up. With or without you. Are you too drunk to realize that? Luan told me about your sister. She must be dead by now. But you're alive. And if you come down, you'll stay alive. Fuck you, Frank. We're done here. I'm going up. Aiden! It's me. I won't leave you Give on your up. own. You're talking to a dead man, Luan. I'm coming to you. Wait for me. Are you what? No, no way, Luan. Luan?
Hanging, jumping, and climbing, whatever it takes. It will be worth it, Aiden. Communication is everything. Ask her to come. I'll radio and talk her out. Forget it. She turned off her radio. I guess I said a few things too many and. Fuck. Fortunately, I warned Matt and the PKs won't let her in. Listen, I'm near the top already anyway. Even if she did make it, it'll all be over by then. You. You're where? On top of the building? <laughs> you motherfucker. I didn't fucking believe you'd make it. But holy shit, you will. After, uh, on, on your mission. Radio New Hope. Imagine. Messages of peace and unity. Bringing people together. Giving them hope. Yeah, well, I was a hopeless romantic in my younger days. What can I say?
at the transmitter. What's next? Good. Good. Now throw the switch and that's it. gets what he wants and gives me what I want. The way to find Mia. The truth about her. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. The 
Frank, what kind of music did you used to listen to? What? I'm wondering what kind of music you'd play on your radio station. Uh, don't tell me it'll just be you talking all the time. If so, I'm changing my mind. You motherfucker, I can't believe it. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you so, so much. You have no idea. Any kind of music, anything you want. Aiden, something's gone wrong. We can't detect the transmitter signal. The people need this antenna more than you do. One. Aiden? What have you done? You'll hear soon enough. And let's hope Frank's still got it. Frank? You handed control of this antenna to that washed up drunk. I can't believe it. I'll take it back. I promise. Yeah, good luck climbing the building yourself. Aiden. And I thought we were becoming friends. Uh, sorry, Jack. I made my choice. Good day, Philidor. Frank is back, and I've got some more exciting news for you. Blankets, food, and drinking water are being collected at the canteen. All those in need can report to Nicholas. Stay tuned, and I'll be back soon with another message of hope. Meanwhile, enjoy the music. You made it. Hey, it's good to see you too. Don't ever fucking do that again. Hey, where did that come from? You owe me one. of my sneakers nearly tore off trying to get to you. I'm... Um, I'm sorry? Uh, sorry? I thought I'd be scraping your guts off the fucking pavement, and you're sorry? Juan, I don't believe it. You were actually worried. <sighs> Shut <laughs> up! Like I said, you owe me. My sneakers are ruined. I can literally feel the concrete scraping my feet. We need to get me a new pair. Well, they don't look that bad to me. You sure we don't have more important stuff to do? If it was their looks I was worried about, I would have trashed them ages ago. I risked a trickier route to get to your sorry ass faster, but the wind blew me into a broken banner. The fucking spikes were nastier than they looked. They were my last pair of intact shoes, Aiden, my soulmates in this dirty revenge-seeking business. Without them, I'm... <sighs> So, let's go. You want to go shopping for new sneakers, now? Is this some kind of joke, or...? Do I look like I'm joking? Luan, are you... Ah, oh, shit. Luan, it's not a sign of weakness to say you were worried. <laughs> Can you at least tell me where we're going? Aren't a lot of shoe stores open in the area, I bet. There's a place. Some of my old stuff might still be there. I thought all your stuff was at the fisheye. But I guess that's not where we're going. Just shut up and follow me. 